I'm being selfish with a purpose, not to be hurtful to anyone, including myself. I'm prioritizing me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, welcome to my channel. So great to have you here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about something that could be seen as controversial, but trust me, it's worth discussing. We're going to talk about what happens when you stop caring and just start being selfish in your 20s. Discover what you're passionate about. The first reason to be selfish in your 20s is that this is the perfect time to be discovering what your passions are in life. When you stop caring about what others think and what makes other people happy, you truly start focusing on yourself and what you bring to the table for you. You're able to explore new interests and discover what truly excites you in life. And while I definitely think that you can find a passion or hobby later on in life, I think no better time than when you're young and when you're able to do that as soon as you can. I mean, like, think about it. Say you figure out you love baking and you're 20 years old. You start spending your time on it. You start learning about new recipes and just kind of crafting and just booting all this experience. That way when you're 40, you'll have like 20 years plus experience versus if you discover it when you're 50, granted, you know, you could be baking all the way till you're 70 and then have like, 20 years of experience that way if you're able to take the time now to figure out if that's something that you like you're able to spend more time with it because by the time you're 70 that's like double that time of experience you know i'm bad at math don't, don't judge me while it's never too late to begin why not take this time in your 20s when you most likely don't have kids or any huge responsibilities no life pressing events to worry about and just take this time to like really dive into yourself, especially being selfish with your time. Because if you were to just go hang out with your friends all the time, you're not really taking the time for you, you're giving them your time. While knock on wood, hopefully you'll still be friends in the long run. What if you're not? And then it's like that time could have been used to kind of like put back into you. I feel like you just need a better balance of that. And we'll talk a little bit about you know, setting boundaries in like a couple of minutes, but I really want you to focus on this time is your time to shine, boo. This is your time. You get to build your confidence. You're wondering why would that be selfish to build confidence? It's selfish because you gotta trust you first before anybody else. This is the time. And I'm gonna keep saying this is the time because I want you to know your 20s is the time for a lot of things. It's the time of a lot but when you prioritize yourself and your needs you're gonna start really feeling confident in what you want what you need your abilities your decisions you take the time to start listening to yourself maybe whether that be with confidence building exercises maybe doing some affirmations this newfound confidence is going to help you tackle challenges and any problems that you're going to face and all that stuff tends to lead to uh, self-growth and success and it's only going to lead to good things so really honing in on trusting yourself putting yourself first putting what you want first have that confidence to do that it's natural to have doubts or days when you're unsure of how something's going to turn out when you're scared of how something's going to turn out but take those moments and learn from them it will allow you to set that foundation that will allow you to make decisions based on what you want and that's it can be seen a little selfish you know like turning people down or you know putting yourself first all of this can be taken in a negative light if you look at it negatively um but it doesn't have to be you're not trying to hurt others you're just trying to make sure you don't hurt yourself and i say that I'm not trying to come out with like a whole jaded way without having anybody relying on you this is the perfect time to be doing that i just feel like with this this newfound confidence that you're going to get working on it in your 20s working on trusting yourself you're just going to be such a stronger individual when you're older more set in not like a set in your ways kind of thing but more set in your values and your beliefs establishing healthy boundaries 
being selfish in your 20s kind of requires you to learn how to say no and set limits with others. Example time! So I was at trivia night. Yes, I do a weekly trivia night. Love it. Love it. We go to a local brewery here in Charlotte. It's so much fun. My friends wanted to go to the cocktail bar that was next door. Now, I love a good cocktail but I was hella tired. A couple weekends before then, I had just gone out with them to like the clubs. And while that was so much fun, um, I'm not a club person like every weekend kind of girl. I'm a club person like maybe every couple weeks, couple of months, you know, gotta catch me on the right season. And so point blank, I wanted to go home. I was tired and it was just like a long day at work. And so it's after trivia, I just wanted to go back to home, go take a, go to bed pretty much. And so you know what I did? I told my friends, hey, I'm tired. I'm gonna go home. See you next week. And they were 100% cool with it because they recognize, I mean, one, you can't really force someone. Um, but two, I have great friends and I recognize that I have a healthy boundary. I think we all have healthy boundaries with each other. Um, like if we wanna go out, like yeah, we'll be like, maybe like, oh no, stay. And I'm like, oh no, I have to go. I'm like, okay, that kind of thing. But sometimes we don't even try that because like, you know, if you say no, you say no. And that's such a healthy boundary. And I feel like you also kind of have to say no to yourself because you have this fear of maybe like fear of missing out. And you gotta let go of that fear. Let go of that fear, babes. Let go of it because it's not important what's important is you get home and you do your 10 step skincare routine um and then take your ass to bed you know that's more important <laughs> than you know trying to have clout or trying to stay out so you don't miss out on something i mean will you miss out on something you'll miss out on the rest of the night maybe but you still had a like i still had a meaningful time with them and while i like saw a picture on one of their stories with a boa and i was like oh, they got a burlesque boa that's cool and you know what i did i went on to the next story it was like it's not that big of a deal they looked like they had fun and like you know i'll go with them next time maybe most likely as long as i'm not tired recognizing when you have to put yourself first and put that boundary up. Um, there are some people who don't respect that. And if that's the case, if you recognize that, I'm gonna need you to figure a way to let them go. Like, I just feel like we don't need that energy, hun. We respect people here. If they have a boundary that they need set, we need to, we need to respect it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, take this time in your 20s to learn what boundary you need to set, learn what limits you need to set with yourself and the people in your life. Life's too short to consistently people please. I also think in addition to your know, friendships or relationships, uh, this is also also kind of like a healthy mindset to have when it comes to like work life. Um, like I work from home. It would be very easy for me to be like at 5.30 and like, oh, it's 5.30, I'll do some more work done and then like work till 6 p.m. And I, I don't, I don't do, I do not vibe with that. Um, now, if something comes in at 5.30, like a call or, um, like a task maybe I'll take like five minutes to look at it maybe I'll take five minutes to call um, or to answer the call just because it's like it's a little grace window but that's my personal boundary I do not want to work outside of the hours that I get paid no if you need me to do something ask me when I during the eight hours that I am working I'm here for eight hours. Doing that also helps me prevent burnout because if I were to truly like be working till six, working till seven, um, because like there was like no separation between my work life, because you know, I work here at my desk and you know, this is in my room. If I didn't prioritize, you know, setting the a healthy boundary, like I only work at my desk. I do not work in my bed because if I work to my bed, I'm gonna get a little sleepy because like just staring at the computer doing stuff, I'm gonna get tired. It's just helping me prioritize what's important to me. This will help teach you the importance of self-care and then prioritizing your mental health and your well-being. Like we really need to focus on that. That's the most important thing. Develop independence. I think there's a lot of different ways that you can find your own independence, you know, whether that be you're moving out, 
rent or you know you're having a lot of bills that you have to take care of um we're learning how to cook any adult thing i think there's so many different ways and so it's going to vary on you know, what you view important like maybe you you always learned how to cook but that's because that's something that you did with your mom and she taught you and so it's just something that you did and that's not necessarily something that makes you feel independent but you've always lived with them and now that you moved out that's a very independent thing so it varies based on um your experiences and again what you value that independence is going to help serve you well throughout life and help you navigate in various situations and that's just going to increase that confidence that we were talking about earlier you know you're just going to be trusting yourself we're like it all kind of ties back into each other like all ties back into each other <laughs> And I truly think that our 20s is the key time to find it. By being selfish in your 20s, you're investing in yourself and your future. And that means you're focusing on, you know, your career, your passions, um, your self growth, your self worth. It's going to just help lead you to such a more fulfilling and successful life. And I want to keep in mind, you know, success is going to look different for everybody. From failures to success, embarking on a selfish journey in your 20s is just a key learning time. I'll be 25 this year and I'm at this place in my life to where I am not going to risk my happiness or comfort for someone else unless it's going to bring them like extreme joy. This is the time to mess up, uh, discover anything and everything and this is the time to truly enjoy life i'm an, a believer in growth no matter your age but i take comfort in knowing that the 20s are this time of discovery and truly finding yourself um and just setting this foundation for who you'll be for your life i know we're always growing we're always changing but finding the foundation of who you are by investing in yourself, by putting more into yourself. Um, and then, you know, when you're ready, cultivating in the relationships around you and exploring and enjoying the world, all of that sets you up for just this life of, I'm not gonna say pure happiness because I feel like, you know, life is always up and down. You know, no one should promise that, but an enriching life, a fulfilling life, um, a life that you could potentially write a memoir about. That's what we want, okay? We want a memoir worthy life. If you were able to find your life's purpose, um, family, marriage early on, and maybe in your 20s, early 30s, all that good stuff, dude, that's freaking awesome. Congrats. But for the ones that just needed a little bit of extra reassurance, you know, from one 20 something year old to another, you know, we got this. This is our time to F up, <laughs> to have fun, um, and to know that it's okay. It's okay to not have all of what society deems we need to have. Take your selfish moments when you can, yeah. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Hopefully I, again, I gave you reassurance that being selfish is okay let's not make that a negative thing um i think it should be up there with self-love self-care the intention isn't to harm or not care for others it's just to make sure that we're caring for ourselves life is too short to consistently people please leave a comment let me know what you guys think i'd love to hear your thoughts maybe you have any additions like other reasons why you should be selfish um other ways to be selfish i'd love to hear from the squad and really get your opinions um and yeah if you like the video please leave a like if you liked me and you're not already subscribed go ahead subscribe come back for more join a squad thank you so much for watching today's video I'll see you in the next one.